Hey there, welcome back. This is Tanner Steed. We're in my studio today. I've been spending the whole day uh, working on this painting over here of Arches. Just the other week we were in Arches National Park and I got some incredible reference material. Pretty good uh, color studies that I painted on location there. And this is what I'm working on. It's on uh, 21 by 36 oil prime linen. Almost done about 30 hours in. The reason why I wanted to make this video was because I thought I'd give you guys kind of a little quick tip uh, for efficiency when you're working on larger pieces in the studio. At the end of the day of my painting session, I paint in oils, right? So I like to be able to come in the next day and just grab all my stuff and get ready to go uh, and just begin painting as fast as I can. What I do is I've got this glass palette with all my colors, all pre-mixed, uh, I use liquid so my painting is dry the next day. I want to keep these paints from drying. Uh, and oil paint really doesn't dry, it oxidizes. So what you want to do is prevent oxygen from getting to the linseed oil that's inside of all these paints. What I do is I take this cling wrap. I'm going to try to do this with one hand. So what I do is I take this cling wrap and I'll set it on top of my paints. So this is pretty effective for increasing the amount of time that the paint will take to dry. Um, so this is a bare minimum. Taking this a step further, which is really what, the quick, what our quick tip is all about today, I have these Q-tips that are soaked in an oil, an essential oil. This is what I use. I use clove essential oil um, and I, I drip it on the tips of the Q-tip and I'll take a few. These are covered in paint because I've been reusing them. They last for as long as they remain uh, wet with the clove oil, uh, which is infinite pretty much. What you do is you take your cling wrap Okay, just like we've done here. And I'm going to carefully set these underneath the cling wrap. And because they're soaked in the clove oil, what happens is as the clove oil uh, is released into the micro atmosphere inside of the cling wrap, it will go around the paint and actually prevent it from oxidizing. Now, I don't know why this happens, but I've heard from countless resources that this is a very effective way to reduce your paint from drying overnight. Tomorrow morning when I come back into the studio is I can just rip this off and remove those and all of my paints will be ready to go. Even if they have an alkyd medium in them, like liquid. Now, to take this uh, one step further, just to increase inf efficiency as much as possible, here are the paintbrushes that I was using today. Now, instead of cleaning these off using mineral spirits or Gamsol, um, I'll actually throw them in here. This is just a super inexpensive tin from Home Depot. Uh, I maybe spent $5 on it. Now I fill it with a particular kind of oil. I fill it with safflower oil. Now safflower oil is the slowest drying oil. You can also use refined linseed oil to do this. Um, but just to make sure that nothing dries in there or oxidizes, I use safflower oil. One of these will work for two tins full. So this is 16.9 fluid ounces. All you have to do is pour it down into that tin and lay your brushes down and they'll stay wet. So when I come back in tomorrow, all I have to do is grab a paintbrush and 
wipe it off with paper towel and then I can start painting again. Uh, I really don't want those to dry, right? So rather than just using the safflower oil, I'll also use the clove oil. I'll put maybe 10 to 15 drops of this clove oil in there. That just completely prevents it from drying. In fact, there are paintbrushes in here, this big one, that I have not touched for four months and it is still totally flexible, hasn't dried at all. And if I just wipe that off, I can begin painting with it. Okay, so why would you do this? One, it's really efficient because tomorrow I can come in, wipe off my paintbrushes, take off the cling wrap and begin painting. Um, another reason would be that my brushes are going to last significantly longer than if I were to use just uh, Gamsol to uh, you know, destroy the bristles, but make sure they're clean and oil free. What this does is it conditions the brush. So my brushes are going to last significantly longer and I'm getting pretty high quality brushes from Rosemary & Co. If you haven't heard of them, I'd be very surprised uh, unless you're brand new into painting. Uh, they have excellent, excellent brushes. Now, if you haven't seen my top five brushes, video, please go watch that because at the very end there's something super important uh, about brushes. I'm not going to spoil it here. Go check it out. So uh, if you have any questions about that, let me know. Like and subscribe. I'll have more quick tips coming in soon. I appreciate your support. See you next time. Oh, and by the way, if you're in the Denver area and you want to come see this painting in person when it's done, along with uh, 15 to 20 other pieces by uh, yours truly, a comment down below and I will hook you up with uh, some information for a private showing that's going to be happening very, very soon.